Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. You're doing it old school. Yeah. And you are? Uh, it, it, it. There's a lot of people. That's right. That have subscribed within a relatively short period of time. They may not have seen our, our uh, introduction yeah, and know who we are. We're going old school. We can't assume everyone's been watching all the back episodes. Okay, okay so do the thing. All right. This is like original old school Whiskey Vault. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel Whittington. No, no, no. That's not what you do. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're so out of practice. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. He's a level three Whiskey Sommelier. He is a master level mooch. And complete this. with necklace and all. <laughs> and this is... Craig <laughs> <laughs> This is Craig Gellicky 13. All right, here we go. Let's do it. So, this is by request from Unbound Odysseus, who requested it more than once <laughs> and then got a little mad that I hadn't done it yet. <laughs> okay. I'm like, dude, like, chill the f out. We got seven pages of requests, man. Oh, do you see? No, he said he started with, you guys should do a tasting review of Kregeliki. Or at least the 13. Nice videos. <laughs> and then, and then like a month later, because I haven't even acknowledged it. <laughs> still waiting for the review. I've seen Ralphie's take on it. What about Daniel? Okay, so here's the thing, Unbound Ralph, Odysseus. That's the guy. Ralphie is yeah. awesome. No, Ralphie to me, here's the thing. Ralphie is like my spirit, other spirit animal. Not me. I've got two. No, no, no. Here's what <laughs> Ralphie is to me. I enjoy his channel. Yeah. If I really want to like get deep. You gotta get really deep with Ralphie because he knows what he's doing. To me, he's like if Mr. Rogers had a whiskey review channel. <laughs> and I adore him. And, and was Scottish. Yes. I adore Mr. Rogers. Yes. It's great. Yeah, Ralphie is, is amazing. Yeah. Someday we need to do a like a co-show with Ralphie where he does all the serious stuff. Ralphie doesn't know who we are. No, he doesn't. We're <laughs> We're nothing to Ralph. No, he's got like 80,000, 90,000 subscribers and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. Whereas we have millions. Someday we're going to go meet Ralphie. <laughs> in Scotland? In Scotland. Yeah. yeah. Can we just go we're just going to go knock on his door. No, if he doesn't want to... He's wanna... probably in the Scottish Yellow Pages. If I'm going to Scotland, I don't want to risk being rejected. That, that's a magic... <laughs> that's a magical rejected. place. That's a magical place. I need to have only good experiences ah. there. <laughs> D just, just, here's a, a sincere moment. A sincere. A sincere moment. I actually look forward to... Because I only get to do this once a week. Mm -hmm. Daniel and I shoot a week's worth of videos in less than an hour. <laughs> yeah, we do. I actually look forward to these getting posted daily and you guys seeing them. It is and fun. Comments. It is yeah, fun. It's fun to hang out with you guys and it's 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 it's, it's fun, uh, insightful. It's fun because you guys are cool to hang out with. Because yeah. it's fun because the commenters have made it so fun to interact with and we found so many people <laughs> with the identical style of humor, right? We've found so many people who are willing to give me sh <laughs> about the jokes that Rex starts. <laughs> That's why you have so much fun. It's because you get commenters making short jokes and comments and hobbit jokes. Yes, you for, for the rest of your life, well, you will be known as a hobbit. I know, right? right. So, uh, Craig Gellicky is owned and then actually uh, largely responsible for being blended into doers. Wow, that smells really nice. Now, here's a super cool thing from Craig mm -hmm. Um They still are one of the few distilleries in Scotland that uses the seriously old school way of cooling uh, the distillation process with coiled copper worm tubing okay. going through cold water. It's a very old process. It's extremely finicky and requires a lot of talent and, and knowledge to run. Yeah. And they still do that because it's slow and it has the maximum amount of interaction with the copper mm -hmm. and it contributes to heavier, richer flavors. So for a space side, and I think this is down from Avalor or yeah. in Avalor. Um, it's a really rich whiskey for being in the region normally known for being really pretty. I'm getting apple. Yeah, I'm getting. I get uh, that. I'm getting uh, a little bit of smoky bits in there, but baked like bread and apples. Yeah, like maybe like an apple pie. I got to tell you, based on the smell, I am very much looking forward to this. Oh, dude, this is up there with Glen Farkless. Wow. Wow, that is really nice. And the aftertaste is sort of earthy. An earthy apple. Yeah. the apple never goes away. The apple maintains throughout. The nose, the first bit, uh, all the way to the aftertaste. Man, that's good. It is really nice. And it lingers for a while until I'm like uh, 12 seconds in, 15 seconds in, and it's finally going away. I love it. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm pouring a little dude, bit more. Dude, what is this called? Craigelicky. Craigelicky. 
I will never remember that. No, no, he really won't. <laughs> Here, look at the, the label's pretty distinct. Oh, that's cool. Can you remember that? Now, the only label that's close to this is Kragenmore. Another one. Which tastes nothing like this. I will not remember. Look, Kragenmore. No, no. I'm thinking of Jason Fisk. Talk about UK units of alcohol. My, oh, yeah. That's my a thing. doctor told me that I shouldn't exceed seven units a week, and back then I drank. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> then I drank a lot of beer. A pint is around 2.4 units, and between Friday night and Sunday, I could hit 20 plus pints. That's 48 units. Most Brits don't really care about this stuff. We see it as more of a guideline, uh, more of a suggestion than fact. Your typical bottle of whiskey at 40% is roughly one unit per glass. Could you imagine only having one glass a day? <laughs> dude, dude, li listen to this. So according <laughs> oh, to- Oh, wait, I'm not done. Jason Fisk says, that, it's Thursday and I've already had roughly between eight and 12 units of whiskey. <laughs> Yeah, totally. I drink maybe two to three glasses a night, and I still have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to go. As for three to four units per day on a work night, coolio. Yeah. On the weekend, no bueno. No, 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 no. This is not cool, man. So, you've got uh, this is nice. a standard unit of whiskey is, is around an ounce. It's 25 milliliters, and this is what the doctor considers to be a unit, right? We've already had probably two to three today just shooting these videos, right? Um, what they say is, um, you know what this reminds it's me? also equal to a half pint of beer or two thirds of a glass of wine. Who comes up with an alcohol unit two -thirds. that's two thirds of something or a half of something? It's like, no, can I have one beer? Well, no, that's two units, but it's one beer. <laughs> well, yeah, but a half pint is one unit. Like, son of a, no, they're just, I, I think they're overthinking it. I am in no position to make commentary on health. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we learned something. We don't drink near as much as the, as the heavy drinkers in the world. Oh, oh, so I was reading this article, and uh, how, many, how many drinks a week, a do, week. You, do you think the heaviest, I think it's like 5 to 10% of drinkers, how many, how many drinks a week do you think they have? So if you're in the top 5 to 10% of, of drinkers in the world, how many drinks a week? 70. 70. Yeah. So I think we can all pr feel pretty good about ourselves here. Well, unless they're drinking unless 70. Unless you're drinking 70, in which case, <laughs> chill out. Slow the hell Shut up. up. <laughs> Calm down. Safety first, man. It's not good for you. Um, do you know what this reminds me of? What? Glenn Cadden 15. Uh, I was going to say Glenn Farkless 12. Well, let's try both. Done. It's a Wednesday. Is it, it's Wednesday? Oh, yeah, it is Wednesday. For you guys. For you guys, it's a Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Okay. I'm not reading this one because you, you copied and pasted this I one. I totally you, did it for a reason. Screw you. Okay, wait. On this side is Glenn Cadam 15. Mm -hmm. So you say, uh, you say Glenn Parkless, I say Glenn Cadam. Yes. Well, we will see who. Going from memory. There's Glenn Farkless 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going Glenn, uh, Glenn Cadam first. Okay. Dude, I'm not far off. That Glen Cadam, that, that better be spot on. Mmm, it's not. It's smokier. Glen Cadam. Dude, you nailed it. Boom. I mean, you nailed it within like a, <laughs> like five percentage uh, points. Yeah, like 10 to 15 percent. But I appreciate That's impressive. I appreciate your generosity. Yeah. Right. No, that's a, that's, no, here's the thing. The difference in price. <laughs> Is significant. Which so which, right? Wait, hold on. This thing that I stole from you. Yeah. When you were looking. Yeah. I, I'll bring it back momentarily. Okay. Momentarily. The, the Craig. Blah blah blah. blah. Craig Ladicky. Mm-hmm. Craig Ladicky. How much is like ballpark? Craig Ellicky, you know, our, you know, nice this try. is ballpark people. Come on. It's not. You're not gonna find it for this exact price. But ballpark. While you look that up, Rod Espinosa says, Rex, I have an idea for your new channel, a live video where you guys drink whiskey with us viewers. I love it. Daniel can stay quiet if he wants. I love it even more. You know what? They're both within ten dollars of each other. Here's what I want. Um, 50, 60. When do you guys? When are you usually watching these videos? Because if we want to do like a live video on the new channel, yeah, at I mean, the morning or the evening. Yeah, at the time that most of you can hang out with us. Or on the weekend or a weekday. So don't just put. Um, 
You know what we do is don't just put like eight o'clock. Put like eight o'clock Central Time. Prepare for this. Yeah. On uh, do that in the comments, and I'll make a list. But uh, on Friday, what we'll do is we'll do a poll. Sure. Um, or tomorrow, one of the days, we'll do a poll, and it's pick morning or evening, uh, weekend or weekday. Yeah. And we'll use that to sort of narrow down our options. All right. So this one's because I I was actually suggesting we do a live let's drink together, and I was gonna put Rex on interacting with the comments. Well, I stare no, at the camera. Rod Espinoza wants you to shut the hell up. I know. <laughs> but I wanted to be important, Rod Espinoza. He does. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> no, this was fantastic. Unbound Odysseus, thank you. Yeah, for busting, I finally listened. For busting Daniel's balls. I finally listened. This was great, man. All right. Yeah. Now, do you have a new ending for oh, us? Oh, oh, son of a... We've decided we're going to start using your amazing suggestions to end the show. So today's ending comes to you directly from Lance Van Ness. To you, sir. As you slide down the banister of life, may the splinters never point your way. Aye. Slantrava. Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.